Good morning, everybody, or here anyways, almost afternoon. Um, it's snowing again, like literally nothing new here. I don't know if you can, you can kind of see it at that back window there. It's all it does here is snow, 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 which makes me so excited for this video because we are getting ready to go to Florida. We leave this week. I can't believe it's already here and I am so stinking excited to get out of Canada for a bit, get away from this snow, and just just be somewhere else. I cannot wait. Um, anyways, welcome back. Uh, my name is Megan. If you're new here, um, I'm a wife, mother to two young girls, Harper's five and Oakley is three, and then my husband, Addison. Um, I am a nurse, I work straight nights. I do have to go work my last shift tonight before we go. I kept myself busy, like I worked five nights this week just because when we're down there like I'm not gonna get any money for being on vacation so you lose out a lot not only does a trip cost you a fortune but you're not at work to make money but I don't care money is not everything so anyways today I am going to be starting to do some packing I can't do everything today um, obviously like when you're getting ready for a trip there are a lot of last-minute items you need all like your own toiletries and your makeup and like the, I'm gonna pack our vitamins and stuff, but again, we need our vitamins every day. Um, so I'm gonna pack as much as I can today. The girls went for a sleepover at grandma's house. So they are not here right now, but they'll be home in just a couple hours. So um, this whole week, aside from working tonight, the whole week is dedicated towards just like getting ready. I have a hair appointment this week, a nail appointment this week. My best friend's brother, um, I paid him yesterday to detail my car. So like, I'll show you, it looks so good in here. Um, that's That green bag is like a bag of like loose ends that he found around my car. I'm sure most of you have kids and you know exactly what it's like in your vehicles. Like they are your lifeline and your kids just dump everything and anything they want in the car. Harper got in here yesterday and she says, oh my God, mommy, there's no crumbs in here anymore. Yeah. Hi, there's something going. That's okay. Um, can I please get a venti ice chai tea latte? Venti ice chai, yeah. Yeah, with light ice and add sweet cream cold foam. Light ice cold foam, anything else? Nope, that's it. Beautiful, your, uh, your, oh my God, your order will be. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Thank you. Anyways, we're almost there. The first store, I gotta go to Healthy Planet. It's literally like, I can see it in my mirror right here. Um, but I just wanted to come get my drink before the lineup got, you know, typical Starbucks. Thank you. Thank you. is just my favorite there's other things I get like the brown sugar oat shaken espresso I like that too um come through but like I literally just had a coffee so I do not need a coffee everyone's going into Starbucks here see told you I knew what I was doing I actually don't see the brand that I normally take. It looks like this one. I have this one, but they're all out of cartridges. Um, Oh, unless that's them up top. Five blades. Oh, yeah. Okay. That'll do. Next. I might get... Oh, here's my deodorant up here. Just got back from Walmart and Healthy Planet. You guys already saw I got my iron and I'll just run through what I got quick here. It's very random, but that's 
It's just the name of the game right now. Um, so I was able to find myself actually two bathing suits. So this one is a two piece. I love the top of this and I, I did try these on. Thankfully I did because I had a whole bunch and the others were all a huge no, no. Um, so thankfully I could try them on. Um, so it's a two piece. So I just got that top and then I got the shorts bottom. You could get like the bikini bottom, but I, I don't do bikini bottoms. Um, I wish that these, yeah, they're like, they're okay. They fit nice. They're just, I don't know. Me and bathing suits don't mix. <laughs> then I got this one. This one actually looks really good on. It is like, it's a one piece. It has the cutout here for, I thought this would be where my hips stick out, but it's not. It's actually like a flattering cut. Um, it is like the bikini ish bottom, but because it's a one piece, it's not so bad. I, I don't know. I don't know. I just, like I said, I don't love myself in a bathing suit. It has like this long strap so that you can pull it up yourself, but I, I still am incapable of doing that. So Addison will have to zip it up for me. No big deal. Um, Harper, I bought a bathing suit like a month ago or so. I have to find it because she's already ripped all the tags off and was playing with it. I think she's worn it in the bathtub. Has she worn it in the bathtub? What? Has Harper worn a bathing suit in the bathtub recently? She wore the bottoms, but I think I got her one piece. So I don't know. I'll have to find it. But I got this one for Oakley. Um, she is my pasty, sensitive skin girl. So I like to get her long sleeves. I don't like bikinis on her. I don't like don't like short sleeves on her. So I did get her this. Um, I hope it'll fit. This is a four to five. I wish it was a five to six. Um, but I know like bathing suits obviously have to be like tight and not just like baggy and sagging down here. <laughs> So I'll probably try this on her before, just in case. Then for myself, um, I hate black socks, but um, I just got two new pairs of shoes and they're black. So all I ever wear is like white socks, but you can see, you know, the white cuff of these above. So I wanted to get some black low rise socks just so that they look a little bit better in uh, my shoes sunscreen for the girls this is my favorite honestly it really is like tried and true I've tried so many and I try and do like healthier options or whatever but I always go back to this it smells so good it applies so good it it wears good it doesn't come off it it doesn't take me three hours to rub it in I really like that and then um I've never seen this before but I got this so that I can put this in our Disney bag because it's a lot smaller so this will be easier to travel with for Disney then I just got myself a small, um, I've never used this one before, but just a small take on soap. I'm going to pack my big like shampoo and conditioner bottles, but I don't need a big bottle of body soap. I just got a second deodorant because I'm probably going to like plow through deodorant next week. That's just me. Um, I did, I'm pretty sure that these are the ones, I showed you guys these in the aisle. I'm pretty sure these are the ones for the razor blade I already have and I could just use refills. So try that. These are the Pedia Shures that I was talking about for Oakley. Um, just like the vanilla and 33% less sugar. So these, she'll be able to... The girl loves her milk. She still loves milk, but it still has to be lactose-free. And I, I'm not traveling with lactose-free milk for three days, like, to get there or to get home. So um, these will be... They're perfectly shelf-stable, obviously. So these would be good to just keep in the car. And if she wants milk, she'll have one of those. She loves them anyways. Um, feminine products for myself. Um, I had to get some Kleenex for the car, so I just got this like eight pack and then that'll be good because we can throw like a pack of these in our Disney bag as well. And this was all I bought for food. I told you I wasn't going to buy any food, but I just got some ham to make sandwiches for Harper's lunch this week. I also have, um, I have two packages of pasta, like one's a ravioli. Let me see. We have... This one, she really likes this, ricotta and spinach ravioli. And then this one is a cheese spinach tortellini. So we can have that for, um, I just pair those kinds of pastas with this basil and cheese pesto. It's so good, the kids love it and gobble it. And that'll be good for Harper's lunches for school as well. And then I don't wanna buy a lot of fruit cause we're leaving, um, but we have no berries left. Um, I think we have like one banana. We got a few apples and oranges, so it'll be an apple and orange type of week. But just so they have some 
fairies. They were on sale. And then I just found these in the Easter section. So these remind me of the Frankenstein ones that came out. Um, they had like a green marshmallow top, but all I got, it was $200. It's like the prices of everything is, it's disgusting. So I, that was it. It was two bags, but it was things we needed. So, okay, let's get to packing. Watch me under the light. So keep me in your sight. Cause I can do this all night. Okay, so I got all the kids stuff packed and then of course I <laughs> took it out so I could just show you guys like up close what I got for them. Um, so this was definitely my sister-in-law's idea and I just copied it so credit goes to her but at the dollar store she found these like Lego boards and then she found little boxes of Lego I couldn't so I had to buy like individual color packs but I just picked up this pencil case from the dollar store as well and I put four different mixed colors of Lego in and then I bought two packs of five. Oh, this one's legs fell off. I bought two packs of five of these little Lego people as well. I got a pirate pack and a wizard pack. And then I just split them up between the two. Um, so yeah, they're like that. And then I just found these wiggle worms. I don't really know what they do, but who knows? Kids might like that. Just these little like kitten play sets. My girls love stuff like this. Um, so yeah, that's all from the dollar store. This was also my sister-in-law's idea. They might like this. I know I used to like doing this kind of stuff. They'll probably just like shake it and be done with it, but <laughs> we'll see. Coloring books. Um, I don't like dollar store coloring books. Like we, we have them. It's not the end of the world, but like the pages are so thin and they rip and they're kind of like brown. So I just found these inexpensive ones on Amazon. So this is for Oakley. They're like nice big big pictures so super easy for her to color so her um attention span on these might be better because it's easy so that's that one just from amazon and this i thought was a coloring book but it's actually just pages they're all loose pages but i don't know she likes peppa pig i don't like peppa pig i think 
the family is like they're pretty rude <laughs> but for coloring books it's fine and then I got them each their own kind of special thing now that I see them in person I think it's going to be a fight but I got this on Amazon for Oakley it was on sale let me just open it so it's a squeeze em -alls, like picnic pack she loves squishies and stuff so um comes with like a sandwich and a milk but there's something there's something in it the milk um these squeezy she can she can open these like we'll open them for her once she uh, once we're on the road and then whatever was in this little one but they're so cute and then like this case would be good for her to keep some of her toys in and then harper instead of the squeeze -alls, i got this I just put it into a baggie so we don't lose it. It's just like a little wooden puzzle with all the different shapes and she can try to figure it back in. But it comes with, um, this is an actual pamphlet here um, of different patterns or shapes or whatever you could do. And then everything else is the same for Harper except her coloring books are directed more towards her. So she is really good at these hidden picture ones. Um, so we'll see. I remember doing ones like this as a kid. I think they were called like highlight or something. Um, and that's what this reminded me of. So hopefully she'll like this. They look like they actually might be tricky, but oh, see, look, there's the, the briefcase. Um, so I got her the hidden pictures. I got her plants versus zombies. She's never played this, but we like zombies in this house. So I thought that would be, that's fun. Nice, something different. And then her also just a big book for toddlers. So this one has more like well, some of the shapes are easy, but um, just practice like your, your words yellow, practice some numbers, um, just easy, honestly, easy stuff. I don't wanna like, I want them to have fun and not be like overwhelmed. Okay, I forgot to show you guys, I did get the girls. Um, I got them each one of these toddler car seat travel trays. These will be great long-term for like a long time. So they're pink and they fold up and then the strap can go like in behind the girls um, and it will stay on their lap so that's how they'll be able to do like the Lego and the coloring they can have some snacks here like it'll be these things would be amazing these were they were $35 each there were cheaper ones for $19.99 but the reviews were horrible and then they also have ones that were like $90 so I would never spend 90 but I did go in the middle um, Honestly, for me, it was, it'll be worth it. So I could justify the $35, like no problem. So we're gonna have these as well. So here's some stuff that I've bought, like specific for Disney. Um, I just bought the girls some glow sticks because I know for sure that they will want stuff like that. And I'm sure those kinds of things are very expensive. For Harper and myself, how stinking cute are these? So I just bought some Mickey ears off Amazon. I know when I get there, I'll probably fall in love with some there, but I, I don't need to spend a ton of money on like Mickey ears. And then for Oakley, I actually love doing her hair in like those little pigtail bows. So I got her these um, and like they'll match. I got her these for our Magic Kingdom day and these ones for our Animal Kingdom day. They're so cute. Um, I, bought, I bought a pair of these for, well, picked up a pair for my niece as well, but the girl only had one, one pair left that she could make for Animal Kingdom. And then Harper, I got a larger version, just if she wants one in the back of her ponytail one day. Um, I did go very extra here. These are like protective heel they look really gross. They're very rubbery, silicone-y. Um, they're just like gel heel protectors. My heels get so sore so easily. So I'm hoping that, um, oh, you know, I just realized I'm missing something. I'm hoping that these, if I need them, I'll probably just wear them at Disney because you're going to be walking for a million miles. These are like, I think you probably have to, I don't know if you have to cut them. No, you don't cut them. I think they're just different size, like those moleskin ones. So if like I'm getting a blister on my heel or like, I don't know, on the side of my foot or if any of us are, I got those. I did pick up just a small bottle. We have big bottles here, but I picked up a small bottle of Tylenol muscle and body. So I'll put that in our bag. Um, I won't bring this whole box, but just a few travel packs of just these wet wipes put in our bag for Disney. I bought one cooling towel. It was super cheap on Amazon. I asked Addison if he wanted one. He said no. So he might regret that because it's supposed to be like 30 degrees while we're down there. So 
<laughs> the curls and I, I guess, will share that. Um, I just showed you guys this, so I just picked up, um, oh my word, anyways, I picked up a small container of sunscreen to put in our bag for the girls. Uh, just some small packs of Kleenexes, and then ponchos, because Lord only knows if it's going to rain, and if it rains, I'm not leaving. So I picked up two child ones. These were on Amazon for like $1.80 each. And then the adult ones were $9 each on Amazon. Forget it, for disposable ones. So I went to the dollar store, which I might regret if the time comes, but I just went to the dollar store and bought two adult ones for $1.25 instead, but we'll see. I don't know, hopefully, hopefully they'll be okay. So that is our stuff specific for Disney. And then also for travel, um, I just bought like these wet ones. I don't remember why. I bought, these are for hands. I know that these are for hands. These are just disinfecting wipes. And then I found at the dollar store they had these. So I probably wouldn't have bought one or the other yet. But it doesn't matter. No, nothing was very expensive. And then these are awesome. These are like disposable toilet cover seats. Because some of those road bathrooms are so awful. These were like... I think it was $14 for 50, but it's worth it to me. They are huge. They're not your basic, like just rim. They go over the, all the sides of the toilet. They're really cool. Um, and then they're flushable. So, I mean, mind you, I'll probably put them in the garbage can, but they are supposed to just dissolve right away and just be, um, flushable. But you got 50 for like $14. And to me, that's worth it because public bathrooms, I, I just, I can't. I can't I just I can't so gross I picked up these like big Ziploc baggies at the dollar store so I'm just gonna put all of our Disney stuff in here and then like including the girls they've got these skirts um, like I said the girl at work is making us t-shirts so I'll put all those in here as well once I get them back some snacks out this is just stuff we have in our cupboard um i was just gonna like throw it all in a bin or whatever but no i decided i'll just pull out like the same times two because i already ha i always have enough for both girls so that they don't fight over anything um and then obviously we'll be picking up more once we're down there but we are spending three days driving so this isn't just like one day's worth um but i'll just pack it and they can each like they'll each have their own baggie i'm gonna put everything in a baggie and then like as we go, like they can decide from what, what they want from their baggie. So um, I have a whole bunch of these made good granola minis from Costco, Animal Crackers, Goldfish left over from Halloween because I bought a gigantic box. Um, these, I think I'm on down to the last two packages of these. They're like um, they're like Skittles. Um, I have two, like two each applesauce pack packages. Oh my gosh, that's it, left. I have four packages left of applesauce. So they'll each have two um i picked up a box of six of these so they can each have three in their box um these yummy fruit organic whatever gummies two packages left each um for some pocky they love these like they're just cute little easy snack go pure bar nutri-grain bar akashi cocoa seven grain and then these are um like the no sugar added ones from costco so those are decent like snacks that they can pick from and nothing's gonna go bad. Like these can stay in the car while we're driving, so. I 
pulled out a bunch of clothes for both of the kids. This is Oakley's pile. Um, couple like, oh yes, make yourself at home. <laughs> um, I only have 10 pull-ups left. So there's that. I'll have to probably get more. Um, the new bathing suit for her. There's just a few sundresses, a couple sweaters, a um, few t-shirts. He's getting ready to pounce. <laughs> um, shorts. She, for shorts, just has what has been passed down from Harper so far because she outgrew all hers last year and I haven't, I haven't bought any of them anything new. I bought Oakley like one new dress and the bathing suit and then Harper, Harper, I bought um, this new bathing suit. This is the other one from Walmart. Just like that and then she really wanted this one because it comes with like a mermaid skirt over top. And then my friend found this one, uh, brand new with tags from The Gap. So she has a second one as well. So I've just packed with her, packed for her, um, a couple pairs of pants, a couple sweaters, just in case she's got a couple rompers, um, some shorts and stuff, a handful of pajamas. This is a two week trip, but we can wash clothes while we're down there. So I don't know, and I'm, and well, there's some sweaters, t-shirts, long shirts. The only thing, other new thing I bought for her was that green and white tie-dye t-shirt down there. Um, I also, these are for the trailer. So these are brand new that I bought months ago for the trailer, a nightlight and a white noise machine. I need to get, I don't have any socks and underwear with me at the moment because I don't have enough to circulate this week and two weeks worth. So I'm gonna do one big final load of laundry probably like Thursday and then I will take the socks and underwear and anything that I need even for myself out of that last load of laundry and pack that into everything. The girls just got home and they were sleeping in the car. So Oakley's probably gonna barge in and cry any second. Addison's getting her out. <laughs> this is what I've decided to bring for vitamins. Well, band-aids, obviously. I am gonna bring our thermometer because I, just peace of mind. Honestly, we've had a rough week. They're good now, but with kids, you just never know. And because of that, I am packing our Motrin, the kids gravel and the Benadryl. Cause like I said, we've had a rough week. Well, we've had a rough week with with Oakley. She's good now, but just in case. I'm not going to bring any of our refrigerated vitamins because they'd have to be in the car for days. So then I'm just going to bring the kids Omega, Vitamin C, and their Multivite. And then for myself, um, I put mine in here, which I realize now is probably stupid. Well, then that's for the, ho that's for the hotel. <laughs> She's getting into stuff. Um... These are, these are just my multivites, and then there's one other vitamin. I don't remember the name of it, but my doctor put me on it um, just to help with the like, hormonal balances. So I probably should have left them in their original bottles, but I didn't, so hopefully that's fine. And then apple cider vinegar gummies, and then I've been taking these at bedtime. I also take like the Mama Roots, Mama Roots, Mary Roots, whatever her name is, that like her nighttime vitamin, and these, the combo of these like make me sleep really well actually. And then I get an upset stomach a lot. So I found these and these actually work decently. And then I'll probably pack, no, I am gonna pack some melatonin as well. Cause I'm sure some of us are gonna have a hard time sleeping, but. Okay, so I had to turn this into a voiceover because while I was filming this part, Addison was upstairs vacuuming the rabbit's cage and it was so loud. But anyways. 
Um, here you guys see, I'm just gonna pack some stuff that we'll need for the Airbnb in the kitchen and stuff like that. Um, it does say that it comes with pots and pans, but I know we've rented places like that before and the pots and pans are so used and mistreated that they just burn your food because they're they're really just they belong in the garbage <laughs> so i've just learned to just pack my own just in case then i'm packing some of the kids like milk cups i'm gonna pack a few of our own main spices because it's not necessary to buy you know salt and pepper and the basics onion powder garlic powder um, then I just put some like rosemary, Italian seasoning and thyme. Oh, and the vegetable seasoning as well, because we use those all the time. So I'm just going to pack up. We've learned actually over the years as well to pack, um, sometimes using these like big Rubbermaid or black totes. These ones are from Home Depot and we can just throw a bunch of stuff on. You can see it's not even full, but it's just, it's great. And then if there's more stuff we're bringing back home, I'll have room for it. And then this papaya bag, this is just going to be a bag that we keep in the car. So it has like the odds and ends that I don't really know where else to put and things that we'll need for the drive. So like the wet wipes and the girls um, toilet seat covers. There's a couple of those little painting things for the one of the hotels on the way there. Just that kind of stuff. And then it is a like, what do you call this? It's like a cooler bag. So if we pick up anything cold on our way, it can handle that as well. So the last thing that I have to do is pack for myself. Everybody else is packed and we're pretty much ready to go. I have no idea what the heck I'm gonna wear, so I'm just packing anything and everything. Okay, sorry guys, my battery died. Anyways, I'm all packed. There's so much stuff in here because I don't even have a clue <laughs> what I'm going to want to wear or when. So I just packed lots. And then in here, I just have some extra of my face wipes. I will do my toiletries tomorrow before we go. And then a box of rapid tests because you just never know. And we need to do a test before we come home. But yeah, all packed and I was the last bag that had to be packed so I think we are officially ready besides like the odds and ends um, anyways thank you all so much for watching I know that this was like extremely random and all over the place but like when you're packing over the course of like a week that's kind of what happens um, Addison left to go take the rabbit and kitten to his parents for our trip so it'll be sad well We'll definitely miss them. But anyways, thank you all so much. Please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to follow our adventure and uh, I'll see you guys in Florida. Bye.